The last things that we need to know is the physical properties of ester. And this is also important because exams uh, usually is in a structure question. They will ask you what's the physical properties of ester. Uh, first, it has fragrance. It will produce a fruity smell. Okay, fruity smell. Actually, eh, a lot of food, including sweets, eh, okay, sweets, eh, like for example, you have sweets with a uh, orange taste, orange smell, eh, banana, okay, uh, all of these are ester. Okay, all of these are ester, eh, okay, the taste and the smell is come from ester. And also a perfume, also ester. Okay, so ester, it has fragrant. Uh, usually it's a fruity smell, yeah, fruity smell. And then it's uh, insoluble in water. So if you mix it with water, it, it, it will not dissolve in water, insoluble in water. Volatile, volatile means that it can evaporate easily, yeah, compared to water, okay, this can evaporate easily. Uh, colorless, okay, no color. And uh, less dense than water, so if you mix it with water, then it will form two layer, okay, mix it with water, it will form two layer. And uh, the upper layer is ester, okay? The lower layer will be water. So these are the physical properties of ester, okay? And you must memorize it because in exam, sometimes they will tell you, tell, uh, state three physical properties of ester. Then you must tell, it has fragrance or has fruity smell, insoluble in water or volatile or colorless or low, less dense than water, okay? Uh, if they ask you to give three, yeah, okay, I would advise you to give uh, as fragrant, insoluble, and uh, maybe colorless, okay. And uh, this is the this is the most important, okay. Yeah, it has fragrant, so usually if they ask, I try to give this has fragrant, insoluble in water, and uh, colorless.